Hello and welcome to the 0-4.2 assignment. Um, this particular assignment can be found in the assignment section of your notebook. Um, this particular lesson focuses on adding and subtracting rational numbers. Um, so the first thing that we're going to look at, it says to add or subtract fractions, it's all about how you plug it into your calculator. So in example one, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be adding and subtracting fractions. Now in this first video, we're going to be looking at how to do it in the old calculator. Or it can be done this way in the new calculators too. Um, but for those of you that are home learning virtually, this is going to be the way that you need to do it because you have one of the older calculators. In the next video, um, I do recommend watching it even though you don't have the new calculator. Um, but this will explain how to, how to do the fraction problems with a new calculator. So first we're going to um, focus in on how to do it with an old calculator. So the steps are here. The first step is to plug the numbers into the calculator and then we have to remember that whenever we have fractions, they always, always, always have to be put into parentheses. Um, step two is to just press enter and that's going to provide us with an answer um, that's in decimal form. We want our answers to be in simplest form. This means that it needs to be a reduced fraction. So in order to take that decimal form, um, we're going to need to change it into a fraction. We're going to hit math and then enter two times. So here are the steps, like what it would look like if you were plugging it in your calculator. I'm going to walk you through them as well. So make that nice and big so that you can see it. Um, so I'm doing this problem here that's three-fifths plus one-fifth. Now, if you are looking at this, um, you might remember uh, from the past that if you have fractions with the same denominator, so for example, these both have five on the bottom, um, you can just add these so that you've got three plus one would be four, and on the bottom you just keep the denominator the same, so that would be five, you would end up with four-fifths. Now, to practice how we plug this into the calculator, this is what we're going to do. So I'm going to turn it on. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put three-fifths in parentheses. So I do parentheses, three divided by five, and close the parentheses. So this right here is representing that first fraction. Then I want to add, because we have the addition sign, and then I have a new fraction. So again, anytime we see a fraction, we're putting it in parentheses. So we do one divided by five and close the parentheses. So at this point, we've completed step one of just putting it into the calculator and we hit enter. Um, so enter is step two, we're getting our answer in decimal form. Unfortunately, we don't want it in decimal form. We are going to follow the next step, so change the decimal to a fraction, we're going to hit math, and then you'll see that it's highlighted on frac, um, so that means we're going to have it turn, turn our answer into a fraction, hit enter again, and our answer is four-fifths. Okay, so I'm going to write that down that we've got this one is four-fifths. Okay, so again, it's a kind of a confusing process as to how to plug it in, but um, once we practice with this a little bit more, you're going to feel a little bit more comfortable. So now I'm going to take a look at this next one. So now I have one-half plus two-thirds. So same thing, I'm going to put my one half in parentheses, so one divided by two and close the parentheses. And then I want to add another set of parentheses um, because we're going to put two divided by three in parentheses, so two divided by three and close the parentheses. I'm going to hit enter. I get this ugly decimal like you wouldn't want, you could write it as 1.16 repeated, but again, because we need it in simplest form, meaning it needs to be a fraction, um, we're going to hit math and then enter, enter, and it'll turn it into the beautiful fraction that we have here. Um, so 7 sixths. So hopefully this makes sense of how we're doing it. So you want to put your fractions inside of parentheses. Um, you'll find your answer in decimal form and then you'll have to change it into a, a fraction. 
Um, once you have this process down, you're just going to come down to your practice problems like example one here, and you are going to um, complete these problems using your calculator. So use that same process of putting the fractions into the parentheses. Um, you'll do your operation, put the other set of fraction or the other fraction into parentheses and then hit enter, giving you a decimal. But then it says it specifically, your answer should be a fraction. Um, so you'll hit math and then enter, enter to change it into a fraction. Um, the second section that you're going to complete, you, this, is, this is just review on plugging things into a calculator. You've got some negative numbers. Um, you're adding. You are also subtracting, so you have to pay attention to the sign. But you're just going to plug in exactly what you see into your calculator and then put the answer. If you have any questions, don't, don't hesitate to log into the Zoom and ask those questions. All right, thanks, guys. Um, I do recommend checking out the second video, even though you might not have a new calculator on you.